One easy way to speed up an OpenGL program is to use display lists. The idea is that you have a sequence of OpenGL commands that you want to execute a lot, for example, a sequence of commands that draws a particular object, and you just take all these commands and store them into a display list. And any time you want to draw the object, you just call the display list. This speeds things up because, for example, if you have calls to glvertex3f in the display list, then you might only have to send the vertex coordinates to the graphics card once. And whenever you call the display list, the vertex coordinates might already be on the graphics card. You don't need to waste time sending them over again. So display lists speed things up. We're going to use display lists to speed up the spinning cube program, which I have here. I'll go down to draw scene, and I'll highlight all the code for drawing a cube, and cut it. Then I'll go to the top of the program, and put in a new function which will draw the cube. It'll take as a parameter the ID of the texture for the cube, and I just paste in the code, and there we go. Now I'm going to add a variable, which is going to be a gluint called display list ID, and it's going to store the ID of our display list. Now I'm going to go to init rendering, and I'm actually going to set up the display list. I'm going to tell OpenGL the sequence of commands, the sequence of OpenGL commands that we want to use for the display list. So I'll put display list ID equals GL gen lists one. And this makes room for one display list and stores the ID of that display list into this variable. You can make room for multiple display lists at the same time by changing this number from one to another number. And the ID of the first display list would be display list ID. The ID of the second one would be display list ID plus one. The ID of the third one would be display list ID plus two, and so on. But for this program, we only need one display list. Now we're going to let OpenGL know the sequence of commands that we want for the display list. So we're going to call GL new list, display list ID, GL compile. And later on, we'll have a call to GL end list. And anything we put in between the call to GL new list and GL end list, any open GL command that we call, will be put into this new display list. So we're going to call draw cube texture ID, and all the open GL commands for drawing a cube will be in the display list. Open GL won't actually execute any of these commands, though. It'll just put them into the display list. You could have OpenGL execute the commands as it's putting them into a display list. If you change this from GL compile to GL compile and execute. But we actually don't want to do this for this program, so we'll just stick with GL compile. Now in draw scene, we're going to want to call this display list. So we'll just put GL call list display list ID. And that'll call the display list. It'll draw the cube. And if we run the program, it'll look the same as the spinning cube program, but it'll be a little faster because we're using display lists. Now, granted, in a simple program like this, it doesn't matter too much, but in a more complex 3D scene, display lists would really speed things up. There's one other thing I'd like to mention. Inside of our display list, we could actually have a call to another display list by doing something like this. And OpenGL wouldn't actually insert the commands for this other display list into the new display list. It would just insert a call to the display list. So if we were to change the sequence of commands for this other display list, that change would be reflected in the new display list. And that explains how you can use display lists to speed up OpenGL programs.